Recently I found a great entry signal indicator which gets you into the big trending moves almost all the time, but it gives signals too frequently. So I decided to build a full strategy around this indicator with the use of other indicators to filter out bad entry signals. In today's video I am going to show you the full strategy and backtest it 100 times to see how well it performs. Hello everyone, I am Tradesmart, let's get right into it. First I will show you the entry signal indicator, then the other indicators I used to build a trading system. After that I will backtest the strategy 100 times on the Bitcoin USDT chart and show you the results. Finally we will see how well the strategy performed compared to all the other strategies I have tested on this channel so far. Without further to say, let's get right into it. The entry signal indicator I found is called the slingshot system. To get this indicator, open up the indicators tab on trading view, type in slingshot system and click on this one. This indicator has two baselines which are different length moving averages. These baselines will show us the trend's direction. Once it's green and you see small green arrows on the bottom, it means we are in an uptrend. The opposite is true for a downtrend. So if it's colored red and you see small red arrows on the top, we are in a downtrend. Once the price pulls back into the grey colored area, the indicator will print a red or green arrow depending on the trend. These are going to be our entry signals. As you can see, this is a trend following system with pullback entries. The main logic is that we expect the trend to continue, but we want a better value entry point. As we are only going to use the arrows, go into the style settings and uncheck every box except the up entry arrow and the down entry arrow. As I mentioned earlier, this indicator gives entry signals too frequently, so the next step is to eliminate the bad entry points. For that, first I added an entry confirmation indicator. This confirmation indicator is called Squeeze Momentum by Lazy Bear. If you see my previous video in which we tested 26 different entry signal indicators over 4 million trades, you should be familiar with the Squeeze Momentum indicator as this indicator took the third place. If you want to check out that video, click on the pop-up in the top right corner or find the link down in the description. After adding the squeeze momentum, let's change some settings to make it easier to use. Go into the style settings and set this pale green color to black as we won't need it. Do the same with the pale red color. Finally, untick this box. After adding the squeeze momentum, a valid entry signal is now the following. For long, we need to see green arrow from the slingshot system and the squeeze momentum indicator should be bright green. For a short, we need a red arrow and the squeeze momentum needs to print a red bar. The squeeze momentum filters out a great amount of bad signals while leaving the good ones. But we can improve this system even further. To make sure we are trading in the direction of the bigger main trend, I added a 200 length TMA as a main trend filter. As always, when the price is above the 200 length TMA, we can only enter into a long position and when the price is under it, we can only enter into short positions. I wanted to include a volatility filter, cause higher volatility can lead to nicer trending moves. For this purpose I added the directional volatility and volume indicator. On this indicator you can see colored bars. When you only see a blue bar, it means bullish volume but there is low volatility. When you see only a yellow bar, it indicates that the volume is bearish but the volatility is still low. What we are looking for is to have a green bar on top, cause that means bullish high volatility. Or if we see a red bar, it means high bearish volatility. After adding this indicator, the valid entry signals are the following. For long, the price needs to be above the 200 length TMA, we need to see a green arrow, the squeeze momentum indicator needs to print a green bar, and the volatility and volume indicator needs to show a green bar. For short, we need to see the opposite. So price needs to be under the 200 DMA, we need a red arrow, a red bar on the squeeze momentum and the red bar on the volume and volatility indicator. We only have one indicator left. As we did not use the volume function of the previous indicator, I wanted to also include a volume filter. Generally, it is true that higher volume brings higher probability of a nice trending move. So, to filter trades for high volume, we will use the volume oscillator. If you have it on your chart, you will see a blue line. When the blue line of this indicator goes above zero, it means that the volume is above average, so it's more likely to have a nicer trending move. That's why we will only enter into any position if the volume oscillator line is above zero. Finally, we will add one more indicator for stop loss and take profit, and as usual it is going to be the NNFX ATR. First set the SL value to 2, and to make it easier to use, go into the style settings, untick the buy TP, sell TP lines, and set the other line styles to step line. Ok, now we have our strategy set up. Let's go over the final long and short entry rules. For a long entry, the price needs to be above the 200 length TMA, 
the slingshot system needs to print a green arrow, the squeeze momentum indicator needs to print a green bar, the volume and volatility indicator needs to have a green bar, and the volume oscillator needs to be above the zero line. All those conditions are met on this candle, so we can enter into a long position. Stop loss will go to the lower NFX ATR line, and the take profit is going to be a 1 to 2 risk to reward ratio. And as you can see, this trade was a winner. For a short entry, the price needs to be under the 200 length TMA, the slingshot system needs to print a red arrow, the squeeze momentum indicator needs to print a red bar, the volume and volatility indicator also needs to have a red bar, and the volume oscillator needs to be above the zero line. All those conditions are met on this candle, so we can enter into a short position. Stop loss will go to the upper NFX ATR line and take profit will be a 1 to 2 risk to reward ratio. As you can see, this trade was also a winner. I hope everything is clear. If you have any questions, feel free to ask it down in the comment section. Or if you have any strategy recommendations, drop it down in the comment section and I will make sure to test it out. And now, let's see the 100 backtest. And the results are in. If you want to see more content like this, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. After 100 trades on the Bitcoin USDT 1 hour chart with the slingshot strategy, we had 40 winners and 60 losers. With the 1 to 2 risk to reward ratio, this brings us to a total of 20% gain on the account, risking 1% per trade. Max wins in a row was 4, and max losses in a row was 6. Time took to complete the 100 trades was 323 days and 8 hours. I have also tested this strategy with an ATR trailing stop loss and different risk basis and risk to reward ratios, but a 2 ATR stop loss and 1 to 2 risk to reward ratio seems to be the best. Although it is very likely that changing the settings of the indicator and optimizing them to work better with each other will increase the net profit and the overall performance of the strategy. If you decide to optimize this strategy, feel free to share your results with us and the settings you have changed down in the comment section. Before we see where this strategy is ranked among all the strategies I have tested, let's see the equity curve. If you take a look at the equity curve, you can see that the strategy started off with a nice win streak, but then the equity line started to trend sideways. This is not necessarily a bad thing, as there could have been very bad sideways price action and the strategy still managed to hold its previously gained profits. After this sideways period has ended, the strategy started to grow exponentially, which is a great sign. And now, let's see the strategy ranking sheet. Here you can see all the strategies ranked by gain on the account after 100 trades. Keep in mind, this spreadsheet does not take into account how long it took to generate the 100 trades. Today's strategy, the slingshot strategy, took the 17th place out of the 62. If we take a look at the ranking based on daily profit in percentage, you can see that the strategy is ranked lower as it uses a relatively high time frame, the 1 hour chart, and it takes longer to generate the 100 trades. Although I haven't tried this strategy on lower time frames, so if you want to find out if it works on lower time frames, feel free to test it out. And that wraps up today's video. If you like this one, show your support with a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you want to get access to our highly customizable trading scripts, optimizations and be able to backtest them with just a few clicks, check out our Patreon page, become our supporter and a Smart Trader tier member today. As always, thank you all for watching, have an amazing day and see you in the next video.